Okay, now that we have taken some time to look at recording macros and how macros are recorded into procedures and displayed in modules or stored in modules, I'm going to show you how we can call those procedures using our own custom-made procedure. So in the last video, what I did show you is how you can create create your own sub procedure in a module. In this case, we we place this one here, sub my new procedure 3. And all we really explain is that at the end of n sub or at the end of n function, just to go on and place this code, you'll see the horizontal lines going across. But now what we want to do is call other procedures. This will simplify a process because as we did in the in the very first video, we created multiple macros and it would be very difficult and if anything time consuming for us to have to run those multiple macros once we're in a real world application. I mean, you don't want to have several macros that you have to run one by one. The whole purpose behind macros is to automate your XR report, make it run quicker and more efficiently. So right here, we're going to show you how to do that. So we do have this macro, type letters in column C. I'm going to place that in this procedure. I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to get macro 1. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to get this macro, fill column D. Get user age, I'm not going to use that, it was just a function, I'm not going to use that in this video. And I know in sheet 2 macros, I had another macro here that I want to use, this one's called just another macro. I'm going to just find my new procedure, okay. Playing this code by itself would work, it would call macro 1, type letters in column C, fill column D, and just another macro, and it just, it's going to execute the code from top to bottom. You could place call before, so that way it's call macro one, call type letters in column C, call and call. This is not something that's required. However, if you had a, a macro or a procedure that has parameters, you will need to use the call function. Well, I'm sorry, the, the call line, but it really doesn't matter in this case, but we will use it. I'm gonna close this out. And what we're gonna do is go to macros and the one that we're going to run is going to be I need to make sure that I'm looking at the right module I believe it was sheet 1 macros my new procedure 3 but I'm going to double check yeah, it's sheet 1 macros and then my new procedure 3 so I'm going to close this out and go to my macros and let's go on and run that macro And I'm going to erase all this, and so we already have all this, so we're not able to actually see the macro run, but I'm going to run that macro again. And there you have it. All that did is it ran each macro that we had created in the previous videos, and again, the purpose of this video was just to demonstrate how to call another procedure, or multiple procedures, and put them all into one macro.